Hello from AMD. Imagine that there is a fire happening in a forest and you want to stream your drone feed directly to the command center or maybe you have multiple drones and you want to switch between different angles of views to have a better monitoring or maybe to give the instructions to the team. Maybe you want the pilots to follow a specific path so you want to, to share it with them immediately without any delays. Or imagine that there is a car accident somewhere and you wanna have the 3D model out of it directly in your office without any delays so you can start the immediate analyzing. Or you're just taking a simple photos or videos for an event and you wanna share the content immediately with the editors in office so they can start the instant editing and they can publish the content in social media. This kind of communication is really important in a lot of scenarios and the previous examples that I have mentioned and many many more now you can simply perform them with DJI Flight Hub 2. Flight Hub 2 is one of many products DJI Enterprise released recently in short words it's a cloud-based drone operations management system and in this video i have it here operated with dji matrix 300 and i have to mention that it's only compatible with the matrix 300 and with the new uh, dji m30 uh, once you download it now you have a free trial of six months uh, after doing the beta updating and I will show you guys how you can do it now. It's really simple. Nothing complicated uh, So yeah, six months free trial was uh, I think it's until October and after October you you will have three months additional uh, With the M30 in this video We're gonna go to the steps of activating the flight hub to with the drone with the matrix 300 It's only indoor for now and later I will do another video video uh, outdoor so we can test the reliability of the flight hub too uh, anyway uh, let's jump to the software now so uh, we go to dji.com uh, flight hub 2 you'll see here the the page of it so if we go to uh, downloads you can go to you can start from the manual uh, I have it here so if you scroll down you'll get the registration and login so you have a nice li link here if you press it it will jump to uh, the flight hub 2 i have created an account i call it amt team uh, just before this uh, let's go to the uh, let's do the beta firmware update for the package for the whole package so uh, we're gonna update the uh, drone the h20t and the controller you can have the beta files from fh.dji.com slash agree slash manual hit the enter button now to open a new page so this is the flight hub 2 beta firmware here there is the firmware uh, for the matrix 300 dji pilot uh, it's offline updating and for the smart controller and for the Zen Muse H20 series. Uh, here are the zip files. It's better to have a flash drive after you download them. It's really simple. You just connect the flash drive to the port here, like this. Now, let me hit uh, this. So. Uh, it will detect the files automatically you don't need to do anything you just go to pilot i have it as pilot 2 because i did the update it's really simple and if you guys notice that in the website there uh, there is the offline update user guide what i'll go i'm gonna show you here so there in the um, downstairs in the right corner there is firmware up to date because i already did it so if we press there and we go to the upper right corner there is offline update right so we press on it again and see Tara, it's magic uh, it will detect the firmware by itself uh, for the controller for the drone and for the h20 t and you just hit the update all button uh, i already did it so no need as you can see there is if you are familiar with dji pilot one uh, pilot two is um, completely different as a layout so anyway we'll uh, i will not focus on the new additional things or what, what what have been removed i'll do it in another video we are focusing only in dji flat hub 2 now so yeah uh, this is for dji pilot 2 
uh, let's jump to flight hub 2 now and after this uh, I'm gonna turn on the drone so uh, flight hub 2 I have it here if you don't know from where you can uh, access this see you can press on free public beta or from here so it will jump uh, to uh, this page and what you have to do is to create a new organization a new account you have to have a DJI account for sure and you can name it as uh, what you want so my organization I jumped here I already created one I'll show you how to create another it's simple nothing complicated so you just create your organization uh, you just go through these steps what is the application that you are using the drone with so I'll skip you write a name for the organization and press on ok and then that's it uh, now I've created one I have uh, the organization name I have the ID I have my role which is the super admin this is the highest uh, role and the, this is my email when I joined it's nothing complicated uh, so I go to projects so I can create projects right so as you can see here I already did one it's called test I created it in like five days ago and if I hit the edit button here uh, I can see the project name and it has an ID this is really important and I can add a description and I can add join project with code this is another important thing for security sake there is a, like a, a code you will enter it to the pilot 2 in order to have access to uh, flight hub 2 and here you can have the you can see the members uh, I have myself Yahya as a project member so there is like uh, different roles there is a super admin there is a project member there is a um, I forgot what was the third one something for maintenance a device maintainer and you have the normal member or the pilot and you can have the temporary members for like certain projects so if we go back to projects now I'll, I'll turn on the drone in order to see how it will be linked together uh, so uh, I've turned on the drone we have the H20T as payload 1 we have the CSM radar and we have uh, the remote as A, A channel because we can connect another controller as B channel so now all we have to do is to press on the cloud icon here and you can see from the settings there is device bending it's already bounded with the, the flight hub so all you have to do when you are uh, first uh, using this is to click on device bending and uh, you'll bend it with the flight hub 2 a uh, pop-up window will show there and you click on approve it's simple so I have uh, it's already bounded now so how I can join a project or I can join the flight hub 2 so if you can see from the upper right corner in pilot 2 there is join work so if we click here uh, we can see that we have a project ID and we have code we have to enter so from where we can get this I showed you before we click on edit uh, from the project that we have created in flight hub 2 so we have the ID here we have to enter it uh, there and uh, if you can see there is um, joint project with code it's expired because there is a, a validity date so I have to just uh, like restart uh, create a new one uh, it's like for security sake as I told you so now we have a code we enter it there in pilot 2 and now we hit the ok button and it will automatically link to the flight hub 2 I have already linked it with uh, with the mattress uh, with the mattress 300 so it's already there so I will not do anything so it's here so you can see from devices if you have another drone if you have another M300 uh, another M30 when you get it you'll add it from here so I'll go back I'll hit OK because I didn't do anything new now it's ongoing I can enter the project and the drone now it's linked so yeah I'll hit the enter camera view from pilot 2 this is a new pre-flight check it's white uh, let's hit X so from the flight hub 2 we have the Michael sign 
the DJI account, we have the dock, which is uh, not available yet. It's really interesting. It will be very game-changing device uh, for the autom for the drone automation. And we have the online devices. I have only the Matrix 300 RTK uh, with the, uh, you can see the payload here, it's a 20T. The online members, with, which is uh, because I have logged in in DJI support uh, and the drone as well. Uh, let's go to annotations. Annotations is for like, uh, as a, when I was saying the scenarios in the first of the video, I told you that uh, you can like uh, hit the pinpoint and uh, the pilot can follow or hit the pass so uh, the uh, other pilot can, can follow as well. So different kind of things you can do it from here. Uh, we have the map here when you are doing the mapping missions uh, outside and here you have the media files the instant uh, like transmission between the drone and the uh, cloud which is the flight up to so uh, you have you can turn off you can from pilot to you can turn it on turn it off if you go to the cloud icon again you can see here from the settings there is something called media file upload so uh, you can turn on or turn off the auto photo and video uploading. So we go back to the inter camera view. And last but not least, you have the flight road library where, where you can like um, do the mapping mission, the 2D. Uh, this is for uh, planning the mission only. So uh, as I can see now, it's all available. For the M30, there is no Matrice 300. Maybe it will be available in the next uh, firmware update. And they will add the oblique as well because we only have now the waypoint available. They will add it along with the area road, with the liner road, and we will have the oblique missions as well. So if we go back to the team, we can see here the Matrice 300 is in a standby position. Uh, if we click in this screen icon, it will uh, pop up window will show up there and you can see you can have uh, different uh, drones uh, parameters like the um, uh, connectivity between the controller and the drone uh, the satellites it's zero because uh, I'm indoor the battery percentage and a lot of different things and here down below you can see we have the H20T we can have we have the FPV so if I hit on H20T button and in DJI Pilot 2, uh, you can see here there is an, a cloud icon. If you press on it, uh, you can see that there is a project ongoing, which is the test. It's live and the speed transmission or the transmission speed between uh, the cloud and the drone. So now in, I'm in FPV in uh, Flight Hub 2. So I'll go to H23 again. I'll hit the IR button. It's side by side. See, it's instant. There is like uh, no, there is zero delay. Anyway, it will be different when I'll be outside because I'm connecting to the same network now. Uh, so that's why we need to test it outside to see uh, how it will perform. So yeah. Anyway, um, Flight Hub 2 is um, a game-changing platform. It will be beneficial for a lot of different entities, uh, especially for the public safety and for the law enforcement. And as I told you, we are going to do another video. Uh, we're going to test it uh, outside to see how it will uh, be performing. And anyway. Uh, by that time, I hope that we uh, will have the M30 so I can test it uh, with both of them. Uh, so this video was like an introduction for Flight Up 2. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and fly safe.